Hi folks, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Python to clip rasters using the GDAL package. So to give you a little demonstration, I have some data here. This is a one meter LiDAR derived DEM, and then a couple of polygons that I drew. These are one feature. You can see those features here. And um, we're going to clip the raster out that is inside of these polygons. I'll also show you how to do this with a bounding box where we specify basically the, the uh, minimum X, maximum X, minimum Y, and maximum Y so that we can clip out a square. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of that in Python. So why don't we go ahead and get started? I have Visual Studio Code open here. I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna call this GDAL underscore clip dot py. Now the first thing you'll need is you'll need to have GDAL installed. Uh, I do and I have an uh, Anaconda environment. You can see it down here. Uh, I call it my GDAL environment where I have it installed and I have that activated. I have videos and tutorials about this uh, on my website if you don't know how to do that yet. If you just Google for how to install GDAL for Anaconda, it should be one of the first results. So let's import GDAL. So from OSGO, import GDAL. And now we're gonna specify an input file name. And uh, let's just give this the raw file format like this. Okay. And now we'll just paste the file name in there. And let's get our polygons as well which is gonna be a really similar file name. So we'll just go to the end here and we'll call this um, our FN polygon. We'll paste this in. I believe I named this polygon. Uh, it's a geo package, GPKG. Let's just double check that. It is polygon. Dot gpkg and now let's set up a couple of outputs so let's set one up for the extent um, oh and we can get rid of this right here and let's go let's put this in downloads um, clip extent dot tiff and then let's do um, uh, let's do we'll call it poly I guess and we'll just copy this we'll call this clip poly dot tiff okay perfect so we've got that set up now the next thing we need to do um, if we're going to set up a spatial reference, and we can do that by importing OSR, and I'm going to set up a spatial reference just to be sure that my coordinates are in the right system and that it all gets set up properly. So we'll go UTM11 SRS, make it a uh, spatial reference system for UTM11, which is OSR spatial reference, and we'll set the well-known um, geographic coordinate system to NAT 83. Okay, and then we can set the UTM zone. And it's gonna be 11 and one means it's north. Okay, so we have that set up. And now the way that we can um, do the bounds is now we can set up our bounds. So we'll call this bounds uh, UTM zone 11 for just so we know what, what coordinate reference systems are in. And we want to give it our minimum X, our minimum Y, our maximum X, and our maximum Y. So I found these out already. I'm just going to give you the numbers. Um, 641,000. And then um, for the minimum Y, it's going to be... 
And then let's go ahead now and um, set our maximum X, which is going to be 649,000. And then our maximum Y, which is 4,859,000. Okay, so those bounds are now set. And now we'll use GDAL warp to do this clipping. Okay, so we're going to do GDAL dot warp. We're going to specify the extent output here. We're going to give it the input raster here. We're going to specify the output bounds. And that's going to be our bounds UTM11 and the spatial reference system for those bounds. SRS equals UTM11 SRS. All right, so we have that all set up. That's all we need to do. When we run this code, we will produce our raster. So let's go ahead. I'm going to open up my Miniconda prompt. Uh, you can use Anaconda instead of Miniconda. It's basically the same thing. And I'm going to activate my GDAL environment. And now I'm going to CD into my directory. And where my code is. And I believe we're in um, Python um, tutorials. GDAL. Okay, and we can just do a third to make sure our file's in there. And there's our GDAL clip. So we'll clear this and we can type Python GDAL clip.py and this will run our script. And we have an issue there. Let's go take a look. It's because this should be output, not out. Let's go run this again. And we have an issue here. Let's see what we have. Okay, and the problem is right here, I forgot to put another backslash in between the directory and the file name, and that's why that was a problem. So let's go ahead and come edit this, and we'll go back in. And I'm just going to clear this so that we can see uh, the output more clearly. And we'll run it again, and hopefully this time we'll get it to work. Just a sec, still running. Okay, it looks like it's completed. Let's go into QGIS. Let's go to our browser. I'm going to navigate to where I saved this file, which was in downloads. Take just a second to open here. And... I think we called this clip extent. Okay, and there's clip extent right there. Let's pull it in and let's go to our layers and turn these off. And you can see that we've clipped it to a smaller extent than our original. Pretty easy to do. Now let's go back and let's uh, edit this script and do this for uh, the polygons so that we clip out only in the areas of the polygon. Okay, let's go back to our script and let's start working on this. Okay, so we've got our polygon. I'm gonna actually name, rename this to FN clip um, just so that I know it's what I'm clipping to. It'll be a little easier to remember. And I'm gonna get rid of this code and just start from scratch here since it's a little different. And so we'll go now gdal.warp. Uh, our output is going to be the, um, oh, sorry, let's call this, let's rename these. This is going to be our polygon because it's the polygon. And this is going to be our clipped output. This will just make it a little easier to, to see what's going on. Okay, so our output is going to be the clip. So fn clip. File name in, so we want our input DEM. Now we're going to specify a cut line data set. So it's going to cut according to the line. So cut line DS name equals FN poly. 
we need to specify the layer in that data set. So cut line layer equals mine is named polygon. It's just the name of the file. You only have one layer. And then we want to crop the output extent to the cut line equals true. Okay. And that's all the code we need. We just need to specify um, our input, our polygon, and the output file name, and then we are good to go. So now let's go ahead and let's run this just like this. And, oh, we have a problem because it's opened in QGIS. So let's go into QGIS. Let's remove that polygon just like this and say, okay. All right, now we can go back over to our code and we can run this again. And we have another error and it still doesn't want to open it. Let's just go to QGIS. Let's just make a new project uh, so we clear anything out of memory. And now we'll run this again. Okay. And it still doesn't, oh, I think I may have named that file. Let's go take a look at this real quick. I think I see what the problem is. Polygon.gpkg. Let me just double check that file path. Okay, and the problem guys, I apologize. This is in the input directory inside of that directory. Okay, there we go. Now let's try this. Now it's running. And while this finishes up, I'll just let you know that all the code for this is on the website. If you want the data and more explanations about GDAL, you can check out my full GDAL course on geospatialschool.com. And there's a link to both those things in the description of this video. All right, we've got that complete. Let's go back to QGIS. Let's go to our browser. Uh, let's add in our clip poly right here that we've created. Uh, and you can see that it is just those two features. Uh, and so that's how you can clip files, clip raster files in Python with GDAL. Pretty simple to do. If you want more information, go check out the code on the website where you can copy and paste it. And you can also check out the full GDAL course. As always, thank you for watching.